Yo, 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 guys! Say hey, subscribe today, let's play it for your eleven way. And today, we are going to be doing some Jutsu stuff, because I have promised that many a time now, and I believe it is about time. So, you probably didn't watch the stream, and that is fine, because it is like two hours long, I do not blame you for watching the stream. So, uh, I gotta explain a few things since you didn't watch the stream, and if you did, you may skip these. Uh, I don't know how long I'll explain it for though, so... You might need to watch anyway. So, uh, suggestion for the top of there that I got... Uh, was having private and, like, safe storage. That sounds cool. I think I might do that up to the top of there. Uh, here, this is a safe house that I have been building. It currently just has a couple beds inside and not much else. Uh, this is getting torn down and we're going to build a different type of building here. I want to hear your guys' suggestions for that. Over here, we have Nova Farm, which was supposed to be Nova's store, but he still has not done anything with it. We have Jay's big-ass farm right here that has not really had much done to it. And we have Solid's Bar right here, which I can't wait to actually go in. But nothing has been done with it, and it's not open as far as I know. Also, I built this mine. Uh, I had to look up pictures for, like, old mine shafts and stuff. Because I wanted to uh, get a feel for how a mine shaft should be. Now, normally they have the rails coming out, so I did that. They have these uh, support beams going up and around here. They'll sometimes block it off with wood, so I did that as well. And normally that have like rocks come down the side because it, it was going inwards. So I did all of that and uh, yeah, it goes down underground. It's not done yet, so I'm not gonna show you all. Because uh, I figured I'd do that off camera since, you know, digging, uh, it's kind of a bit boring. So today we're gonna do something hopefully entertaining, which is go inside of a waterfall. Hang on, I should explain this waterfall. So, uh, you might have noticed that here, I was building a Ars Magica setup. Uh, someone suggested to me, put it behind a waterfall. So, I made some water sources up there, and, uh, yeah, I made this waterfall uh, come from up there. Because I thought, that, that hole there is kind of neat to have water come from. And then they suggested to put uh, a thing behind it. So here, we got a little bit here that we can go in. It's a bit loud because of the water, but that's fine. And I have the Ars Magica set up in here. This is the normal starting kit I do. Uh, no other help me get this because I didn't have any diamonds. Uh, but yeah, it's active as you can see. And we're going to start making some Jutsu. So as you all know, the two elements that I have picked are fire and earth. So, how do we represent that in Ars Magica, you might ask? Well, if I look into the iris, I mean Oculus, um, I can see that there are offense, defense, and utility. So, the, the normal, I always start with Earth when it comes to Ars Magica, because, I, I don't know, I just think it's the best starting Jutsu to have. So, I always go with touch and dig. But I still have two more points that I can go on. So, I can go on offense, and we're going to go towards this fire. We can go boop, boop. Ah, but we don't have another. Oh, what do you know, little viewer? I have chose the wrong bag. And again. Third time? Third time's charm. I have a little infinity orb. But Liam, wow, it's an infinity orb. An infinity orb is an orb that will give you a point that you can find in a dungeon or any type of loot chest. And since I found an abandoned mineshaft, I got one of these. Pink. Fire. Oh, sweet. Oh, and if I get one more, I can have ignition. All right, we're making two juices today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. Nope. No, da, da, da. Boop. There we go, green skill point, and now we can have ignition. So, how do you start making a spell with these? You go over to the inscription table. You guys probably already know this, but I like over explaining myself. 
you go to touch and then the component you want. So I want dig for my first one. But you also need to get a writing book for that. Which I've left the materials over here. Well done, Liam. Uh, so, a little update on the server. Things have been really slow on the server. Because, uh, I'm not actually sure. I think people are really busy lately. Uh, so, not many people have actually been on the server. Uh, but that's fine, because they can do what they want, really. I'll, I'll make sure to keep up on the server, though. Uh, and... I'll try and get as much of this village done, but keep in mind, I am also making one for uh, the Naruto <laughs> roleplay series. So, you might see um, less of these episodes come out and less of DBC and stuff because I'm, like, really trying to get back on track with all that. But, never mind that now. If I'm happy with this uh, unfinished spell recipe, I can just drag it out. Boop. It just says spell recipe, and I can plonk it on here if I want, but I'm going to read first the things we need. Blank room, vintium dust, feather, raw fish, clay, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, as per usual fashion, I'm going to collect all of this stuff, and then I shall be right back. Alright, guys, so I've got all the ingredients now. All we have to do is get this put it on here so we can read it as we go along and we start by adding the blank rune vintium dust I love that sound feather a little fishy little little bit of clay um oh I dropped clay already uh, an orange rune a shovel a new pickaxe and a spell sparchment. Remember that joke? There we go. Unnamed spell. Let's see. I prefer... I don't like uh, saying fire style. I prefer fire release. So, earth release. Um, what should we call this? Uh, meter smash? Because it smashes one meter blocks. Uh, let's see. I guess we could just call it dig. Earth removal. Maybe. Removal. Removal? Removal. And we can change it later. I don't know how to spell, by the way. <laughs> there we go. And boom! First spell. So, if I go up to here... Yep. That does exactly what I want it to. And, oh my god, it feels so good to do that again. I love doing that. Just bang, 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 bang. It's like a freaking gun. Right, so next we need something to actually fight people with. This is a good utility, and Earth is a utility-like nature, if you think about it. I'm gonna pop this off here. Don't want anyone taking that, even though they could just make their own. Uh, now what we want is another book, which we need ink, I've got ink in my inventory, a feather, and a book. I should have a book in here. Uh, I need a feather. Feather, feather, feather. And then... Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a fire spell that sets fire to things as well. Because why not? The, f the fire on the floor will do extra damage if we hit the floor. And it's a nice utility to have because you can place fire anywhere. The fireball jutsu in like the actual mod. It does like a 3x3 three three thing with sometimes you get a little bit extra. But like uh, even though it does this 3x3 three three thing... It goes so slow sometimes that you're likely to miss. Although it looks pretty freaking cool when it's coming at you, I gotta admit. Hey, let me access. Thank you. Alright, go in there. So what we want is a projectile that does fire damage and sets things on fire. And to make that, we need five. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we need a blank rune, Vintium Dust, an arrow, a snowball, a red rune, a flint and steel, an orange rune, and a spell sparchment. And we need Essence Breakdown 100% Fire. So, like last time, I'm gonna gather all the materials for that. It's not that hard. If you want me to, like, slow down the process of how you make jutsus in the future, uh, then I'll be glad to do so. And I want to hear your suggestions for what I should do next episode down in the comments section below. So, once I've got all these, I shall be right back and we will test the, the new jutsu. I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it Mini Fireball Jutsu, why not? Okay, I've got all the ingredients, and that took a lot less time than I thought. I could have done that on camera. But, it doesn't really matter, because you all should know how to get those ingredients by now. You can get them from mining, anything else. Uh, for this one, it's just basically, you know, Blank Rune, 2 Vintium Dust, Arrow, Snowball, Red Rune... They're not that hard to make, really. So, we're just gonna start by always throwing in the blank rune! Uh, two Vintium Dust? Do I need to throw them both in at once? Nope, okay. Arrow... Snowball... Red rune... Flint and Steel... Vintium Dust... Orange rune... Flint and Steel again... My phone went off... Uh, spell parchment. There we go. Ah, oh, I didn't do the completion thing. This one, fire release, mini fireball. Fireball one word or fireball two? Fireball, jute. Mini fireball, jutsu. I have to fit it in like that. Damn it. Uh, so I suppose this one, that will do. Let's go test this outside now. So when you're doing a ninja battle, you're going to be moving around quick. You, you might need to dodge out the way, which takes a bit too long in my opinion. You're going to need to jump. Boom. In midair, you just fire it. Do, do, do. Get it? Fire it. Oh, I don't have enough uh, mana right now. Next episode, we'll hopefully have more mana. But, uh, this should do... How much damage does this do? Probably not a lot. Oh, it costs 300? Really? Hmm. Odd. But, yeah, we don't have uh, enough mana for it, apparently. We have enough chakra to do a massive one, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to work on my mana. But that shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, what we are also going to have to do is, because uh, I figure if I'm going to be a Kage, I need to be a lot more powerful. So, things to do are under to-do list, but uh, of course, I will be checking your suggestions for what we need to do next episode. But on my personal to-do list, we have uh, make better armor, because I'm just out here in iron armor, I, I need better... Uh, Find a way to repair my Boots of the Traveler, because they're getting a little worn out. Find a way to repair my Trust Sword, or Sword of the Zephyr, or my Uchiha Fan. Because it's getting a little worn out, and one of the main reasons it gets worn out so much is because I'm just jumping around a lot. You know, I jump, and then I float, because flying is cool. But that costs a lot to do on the sword. So, that needs repairing. Uh, better armor, more jutsu. That is definitely a thing that is needed. And, I suppose some, like, utility stuff. We might need, uh, some healing items and stuff. More weapons as well. I need Jay to get back on the server. Get to making our, uh, forge area. Jay, if you're listening, if you're watching this. Forge somewhere, please. I need weapons. And, uh, in the future, I, I want to fight someone. Like, I genuinely want to have a battle with someone because I, I figure that would be quite entertaining. And if it causes my first death, at least I can say I went out in a battle instead of being killed by a mob or fall damage. But that being said, that is 
pretty much all the time I had to record today. Very sorry about uh, the amount of time I spend recording sometimes. It's just that I've already completed the purpose for the episode, you see. So, until next time, I want to see your comments and your suggestions in the comments section below. Can't wait to see them, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!